And James, you've been linked with another job this week, but all us put to bed now you've managed to sign your new contract. Yeah, last couple of summers has been quite quite eventful, obviously, around with the media and what have you, and bits and bobs around it. But all along, these, these discussions for this contract was going on throughout the summer, um, even sort of through the playoffs. So, um, no, I'm delighted to have signed a new deal for the next two seasons at the football club. I said when I walked in the door, I wanted to bring some success back to the football club. Um, I don't feel as if we've done that yet. It's been a fantastic couple of seasons in particular, playoff finishes in both. Um, some fantastic moments and games at Twerton Park and away from home as well. The attendances have been great, as we talk about a lot, you know, over 1,100 at Twerton Park and hopefully playing some free-flowing good football that people enjoy watching. So it's credit to everyone, you know, when these things happen, it's credit to everyone at the football club, not just myself. I've got a good team behind me, a good staff, and obviously the players are the one that go out and put in the performances. So I'm, um, I've, all along I've, I've wanted to commit to the football club, all along, as I said, I wanted to be here for a, a long period of time. Um, obviously, I'm, I am ambitious, I do want to be successful in my own career as well. But at this present moment in time, I'm really happy that I've got another two seasons here. It must be flattering for you and also the players as well who have been linked to other clubs sort of in the past. Yeah, it is. That's, it, these things come along because you're doing something right. And um, the important thing is we have to remember what we do right. We can't sort of sit back and then go, well, OK, well, we're suddenly getting a bit of plaudits. I am or the team are. It's all about us trying to improve year on, year on. And um, as I said to you, this year, or well, the season just gone had to be better than the last one. And it was to finish joint third. Um, we, what wasn't better we didn't get through the playoffs and win it so um, next year I don't want to do that I don't want to lose in the playoffs again I, I'm hoping we're building a good squad that'll be competitive again it gets tough for every year recruitment's really tough um, obviously I challenged myself by making quite a few changes and getting rid of the whole front line they've moved on to pastors new and it's important now we bring in the right people right players that fit the Bath City way as well so um, that's the hard work that's going on training's been really good today we're looking forward to our first friendly away at Salisbury on Tuesday which will be very much a training match. It's not about getting any results. We're going there to work on certain parts of our game. Um, we haven't got all our bodies in either, so the front line probably won't look like I want it to look on October the 3rd at the moment, but that's ongoing. Um, and we'll see where we are come, um, come the finish of those pre-season games. So just be a case of stepping it up in, pre in preparation for these pre-season games this last week or so? Yeah, I mean, condition. It's all about the condition of the players. So the balls are out. Obviously, we trained here today at Twerton again. Um, by the time we go into Salisbury, we've only done five sessions, but five, five good sessions. The boys will be leggy by the time they go into it as well, so we don't expect them to be able to be at peak fitness for 90 minutes. But like I said, there'll be certain aspects of the game that we'll just work on. It's not going to be the complete package. Um, and then we'll go into Western on the Saturday the same as well. And like I said, without repeating myself, it's not about results. It's about trying to get those performance levels where we want them and working on the patterns that we've worked on in training. Um, and like I said, we won't be able to do all of it because we haven't quite got the players in that we want at the moment. We've made some key signings. Um, I've had two targets that unfortunately have moved on to, to higher levels, but that's credit to them. They've managed to do that. We almost got them over the line. And it wouldn't be fair to me to name names, but they've hired for, hired, uh, played for, or sorry, have gone to higher clubs. Um, and it's the, next, it's the next round now, so offers are out on players um, and we're waiting for them to come back in. And obviously pre-season starts on Tuesday and we know full well that there's now going to be a crowd as well at Salisbury. So it'll be the first time your fans have seen you play for around six months. Yeah, it'd be strange. It'd be strange, but good. Um, let's be honest. I've, I don't enjoy watching it on the TV and there's no fans. And um, we've had the experience of the players, which did feel odd. Whatever you say about it, it felt odd. Um, so it'd be great. I went to Dorchester last night to watch Bristol City under-23s and there was a crowd in there and it felt, felt better. It felt like a game of football. Um, so we're looking forward to Salisbury, it'll be a big challenge, they've been back for quite a few weeks now and they're further down the line so I'm sure they'll be a little bit fitter than us at this stage of the season but it'll be a great game for us to go and improve on our conditioning like I said um, and it'll be nice to see hopefully some familiar faces if we can get some Bath City fans in there, it'll be nice to see them back in the, in the grounds as well.